Hi everyone, Nyx here, and I've been getting a lot of questions about my corpse paint, so today I'm going to show you how to look like a dying god coming into human flesh. I like to start with the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Primer, and then I use the Makeup Revolution Concealer and Foundation, both in white. For powder, I'm going to use the Manic Panic Virgin White Pressed Powder, and then I like to do a little bit of a contour as well. Any light gray eyeshadow will work. I'm personally using the Hip Dot My Chemical Romance Palette. Filling in your eyebrows first will give you some framework, and then also make sure they're really opaque and black without any patches in the final product, so I like to go ahead and do that. For the immediate eye area, I like to use a gel eyeliner or a cream eyeshadow. This one's a cream eyeshadow that I'm first applying with a flat concealer brush and then a lip brush. To set the cream product and get that as black as possible, we're going to go over the top with a black eyeshadow. You can use any fluffy eyeshadow brush. You don't have to blend it very well. It can be extremely messy since you're just going to cover it up with black paint anyway. We just want to get that really super black so that it will match the black paint that we're doing around the edges. It does look a little funny if you have this dark black paint and then what should be the darkest part of your eyes is gray. Get the lips as black as your soul using a liquid black lipstick, and then you're ready to paint. I like my corpse paint to have a lot of texture. I achieved this with a stipple sponge. I don't actually have a stipple sponge, so I just cut up an old eyeshadow switcher. You can get these at the dollar store for really cheap, and then just cut them up into various shapes and sizes and see what works for you. Use that sponge to dab the paint around your eyes in whatever shape you want. I like to do a diamond thing, but you can get really creative with this. I recommend concentrating the paint closer to your eyes so that you get kind of a gradient in your texture, but you don't have to do it that way. Do the same thing around your mouth and then just keep building up the texture until it is to your liking. Once the texture is done, it's time to get lost in the Carpathian Forest. You can use any fine detail brush for this. I'm using one that's designed for painting minifigures for Dungeons & Dragons and Warhammer. Not sure if that gives me any true cult cred. Draw a bunch of squiggly lines radiating from your eye. You can do this in any shape you want. I'm sticking to the diamond shape that I usually do. Once the basic framework is down, I go through and thicken up those lines, add more details where there are gaps, add branches. You can really get as crazy and intricate with this as you want, or you can keep it really simple. It's entirely up for you, and the possibilities are endless. adding branches because I personally like corpse paint that is really intricate. For the brow bone, I use a small concealer sponge. This gives a really thin layer of paint so it doesn't crease or flake throughout the day. I also avoid the crease area as much as possible because I accidentally did that the first time I used this paint and it was a sensory nightmare. And then just do roughly the same thing on the other side. It does not have to be symmetrical. It doesn't even have to be anywhere close to the same. I just like to have mine be generally the same shape. Sometimes I add the branches around my mouth, sometimes I don't. It's really personal preference. Today I decided to go ahead and do it. Another 
optional step is winged eyeliner. You can't really see this from a distance, but up close it makes it look a little more feminine, so I like to do it. Then just go in with a black mascara and fill in your waterline to make everything as black as possible. Bolt symbols are also entirely optional. Today I wanted to show that I am in league with Satan, so I went ahead and did a pentagram on my forehead using the same paint as before, and then I made it nice and drippy like the Dark Throne logo. Congratulations, you are now true cult. Go forth and wander in the night, pale swordsman. Just be wary of the funeral fog. I'm done making black metal puns now, I promise.